KIR Potassium Channel Domain Reorientation Eukaryotic KIR 2.2 Lateral openings between the transmembrane and cytoplasmic pores are positively charged in blue to prevent potassium ion passing. Eukaryotic KIR 2.2 has turrets at the extracellular face surrounding the pore entryway. Prokaryotic Kerbach 1.1 does not have corresponding turrets. A disulfide bond and a hydrogen bond stabilizes the pore region. Aspartic acid residues in the central cavity are for rectification. Potassium current is blocked by magnesium ion or polyamine binding to the cavity. PIP2, the agonist of KIR2 channels, binds at an interface between the transmembrane domain and the cytoplasmic domain. Acyl chains of PIP2 insert into hydrophobic residues of the inner and outer helices. One prime phosphate group interacts with arginines of an arginine tryptophane arginine motif of the outer helix. Four prime and five prime phosphate groups interact with basic residues of tether helix, induced by the PIP2 binding near the cytoplasmic domain. Between the transmembrane domain and the cytoplasmic domain causes tethering helix in blue and interfacial helix in red formation. As a result of the blue tethering helix compaction, the cytoplasmic domain in yellow translates by six angstroms and becomes tethered to the transmembrane domain in green. Inner helix gate is closed and PPA complex in blue without phosphoinositol ring. PIP2 binding rotates and separates the inner helices in solid colors. Inner helix gate diameter is 4.9 angstroms in PPA complex. Inner helix gate diameter is 6.3 angstroms in PIP2 complex. Isoleucine 177 and methanine 181 on the inner helices form two hydrophobic seals to close off the pore. G loop at the apex of the cytoplasmic domain is open.